This video is highly inspired by Alison Bornstein's wardrobe editing method, specifically the part where I put my love but how pieces in a separate pile. I mentioned it in my previous video as well, so just wanted to clarify, I did not come up with that specific part. I'll make sure to link her original video down below so you can go check that out. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my wardrobe decluttering videos, the little mini series that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks. Today I am going to be following that process, the little wardrobe editing and decluttering method that I shared in a recent video so that you can watch me do it in sort of a real-time format and hopefully it becomes a little bit clearer to you how you can move on with the process yourself. I have water, I have my rail, I have a speaker here so I can put on some nice music. I've got my computer over there so I can take notes along the way. current situation is that I've emptied the majority of my wardrobe and I've started creating the different piles. I'm just going to walk you through it now. So this is my rail of wardrobe favorites. This is what I love wearing and what I wear the most. I'm just going to go get my coats and my shoes from the entrance hall as well just so that I can see everything. And then over here we have some different piles. Later this is items that I will save for later. Uh, then we have the alterations pile over here. This is actually really lovely. Um, you can't see that now. It's really <laughs> looking really sorry and very creased. It's been hidden away in a drawer, but it's a really nice wrap top that I use for special special occasions. I actually dyed this one in a nice chocolate color myself. It used to be like an off-white from Daria De, and it was a gifted piece. Uh, from last year, I think. Um, but the thing about this is that when I wear it, because it's a wrap style, it keeps like opening up at the front there, um, at the chest, and that's just really annoying. So I'm going to see if I can like fasten it somehow, and then hopefully I should be able to start wearing that again. Then we have my good old cost dress here. If you're a longtime follower, you'll see me wear this many times. I think I've had this for over 10 years, um, but I never wear it. I think the last time I wore it was back in 2020 when I was pregnant because it was nice and roomy. It's a lovely like oversized dress, but it's starting to look very worn out. And also I don't reach for it because I actually don't really enjoy wearing that much black anymore. So I might save this and create a pattern so that I can sew on myself because I really like the style and the fit of that dress. So I'm going to save that uh, and then use that as a template for a new dress pattern. So those are my alterations. So yeah, alterations, later slash storage. Then we have special occasions, which is the extra pile I actually made. Um, you might see here that I have my sage green suit. I am planning on wearing that for every day again when spring comes around, spring, summer. But I've just noticed that now it's winter. It's just too delicate. Like, yeah, there are so many different styling options that I could do with this suit, but it's just too spring, summer for me. I'm afraid that I'll ruin it when it's wet and muddy and dirty outside. So strictly for when I have clients or for special occasions currently. Um, so that's like the thought press process behind that. I've noted down that maybe, you know, a darker like wine red suit for like the winter season would be a nice alternative for the future, perhaps, because I do love a suit. And I do love separates. If I just open this drawer over here, this is where I keep all of my downgraded uh, clothing. Also, my sweats. You'll see that there are some pieces missing. They're in the wash. But sweats, loungewear, and then downgraded clothing that I will wear around my toddler. So when we're going to the playground, if we're just hanging out at the house, if we're going to the library, stuff like that. So that I have some pieces that look 
fairly nice. Uh, but that I'm still okay with if they get it, get ruined. So that's why I kind of downgrade any like jeans that are starting to get worn out around the knees or like this Calvin Klein uh, sweatshirt here. I've had this for, I don't know, since 2015 and it's starting to get some little holes around the sleeves and stuff. So it looks nice, but it's still okay if it if I get spilled on stuff like that. Um, and then we have the hard no pile, which is slowly growing over here. So um, you might be able to see some items that I actually really like or have loved. My denim jacket being one. Um, I love a denim jacket. I really, really do. But the thing with this is I never wear it and I know why now that I really think deep and hard about it is because it's too small. It's too tight. Um, you know, I wouldn't be able to close it if I wanted to. I would never close a denim jacket anyway, but that just kind of tells you how tight it is. It's too tight. So definitely want to find a replacement for this. It's the vintage Levi's, Levi's jacket that I found a couple of years ago on ASOS Marketplace. So I'm going to look for... A similar one, just in a slightly bigger size. I've noted that down on my tracker sheet as well. I'm not going to run you through everything because there are quite a few pieces here. Um, I also have a pair of uh, sweatpants there, which are really old. They have holes everywhere. They're super worn out. So I'm going to buy a replacement for those as well. I have a silk scarf here that I never wear. It's from Giorgio Armani. Uh, bought pre-loved. Love the colors, love a silk scarf, but it's just too huge, too big, too bulky. So again, perhaps something I will be replacing, but definitely selling on to someone else. I have my knee boots, which might come as a surprise to some of you. Um, these are a pair of pre-loved Burberry boots. I don't know, you know, as much as I try to style them and as much as I love knee boots, it's just, I, I never wear them. Like seriously, I never wear them. I keep putting new knee boots on my <laughs> wish list, but these are my second attempt within like three or four years. And I think I'm just gonna make peace with the fact that they're not for me. So maybe these can give, can get a new loving home um, as well. So yeah, a few items like that in here, either it's the fit or the material or just the fact that it's worn out. Um, or just something that was once my style and now it isn't. So some things going up on my Westy Air. Uh, so that's the, the no pile, which is um, slowly growing. And then over here, the final pile that we have here is my yes, but how pile. This one is a newer bag from Oh My Back, which I love, 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 love this bag. It was gifted through a collaboration and this is just purely here because I would like to style it up in some specific outfits um, because I love a pop of color and so the color's not coming off quite right on camera. I think it's a lot more like a, a burgundy color in real life rather than like a really harsh red. So I really love this bag. Um, we have a pair of white jeans, which in summer, super easy to style, but now it's winter time. I'm like, hmm, how can I wear them? I find myself not reaching for them because I'm afraid I'll ruin them again, muddy, wet, dirty kind of weather. So maybe, you know, unless I come up with some really nice outfits with these, uh, it's a question of like saving those for the summertime instead. And then just some other pieces that I have had in my wardrobe, most of them for a long time, which I've just not been reaching for, uh, but that I love. So either it's a matter of, again, like I said, storing them away, saving them for another season, um, or just perhaps playing around with them a little bit more, coming up with some outfits and saving those on my phone so that I have a little outfit library there so that I remember to wear them. Okay, right, so I just switched up the lenses or the lens on the camera because the one before was bugging me a little bit. It was quite close to my face, so this is a little bit better. And perhaps I can show you the different piles a little bit easier now. I don't know if it was a little bit confusing before, but let me show you. Otherwise, just follow my tracker sheet, then it should be pretty easy to follow. Um, but yes, we have the yes, but not now pile over here. We have the yes, but how pile here. We have the alterations pile down there, and then we have the no pile over there. And then we have all of my wardrobe favorites, which I still need to go get the coats and jackets and the final shoes from my or from the entrance hall and then now I'm going to tackle all of the 
storage boxes up here, go through those. Um, I've already put my special occasion wear back into my wardrobe. Um, it's just such a small section and I've actually hung it so that it's facing the front this way. Usually it would be facing the other way. And then I'm gonna have all of my jeans and trousers facing like the, the opposite way <laughs> so that there's kind of like a, it's parted there in the middle. But yeah, occasion wear. And then I still have all of my underwear in this drawer. I have lounge and mom wear in this one. I have um, my one piece up here, which is also a piece of lounge wear that I wear on Friday night or Sundays, stuff like that. If I'm feeling low and I just want to snuggle up, I have all of my tank tops and my like thermal undies and stuff up here, which I wear as like base layers. And then I have my sports wear in this drawer. I'm gonna leave those as the only drawers I'm not gonna touch because I recently did like a, a big like declutter of those. But otherwise, of course, you would need to go through those as well. I need to get out my, some of my favorite shoes there. These shoes in the back here are occasion shoes. I'm gonna take those out as well, um, just so that I can give the wardrobe a nice big clean in the end. going through my storage boxes and I can see that there are some things here of course that I will be saving for summertime there's also a few things that are just like not my style currently but might be again at some point and um, so I also tend to save stuff like that every once in a while because as most of you know trends tend to cycle around sometimes you get really tired of something but then eventually it will come back and you'll fall in love with it again. Um, I don't keep too many of those pieces, but I do keep a few. Um, I have also just found a few things that I think it's now time for me to pass those on to someone else, two of which um, will probably be no surprise to you if you've been following me, uh, especially last year. So one is my denim skirt from Armed Angels. I absolutely love this skirt. I love Armed Angels, but I don't love wearing short skirts anymore. It, I once did, but I just don't anymore. So I actually didn't reach for this once last summer and I just came to the conclusion that that's why I just don't like wearing short skirts. Um, the same with this leather skirt, which I've had for a long time as well. This was a secondhand skirt. Um, I do love a bit of leather. I do love that edgy touch. You know, it would look cool with the t-shirt I'm wearing today. But again, it's something I love. I love it on others. I might have loved buying it at some point, but I just don't love wearing it. So time for those to get a new home. I'm currently packing away my not now pieces. And um, you might recognize some of these. These are my uh, Levi's ribcage jeans, which I love, but I've just found that during the past couple of years, I prefer wearing um, more of a full length below ankle kind of jean during especially winter. It's just too cold to show the ankles. And although I could wear them with ankle boots, I just tend to style my full length denim with all of my boots too, this like throughout this uh, period of my life. So I'm gonna store these away for the spring summer season. I have two pairs of cropped jeans here. I have a pair of cropped wool pants as well. And then this blouse, which is something I've worn more for special occasions, but maybe I could start wearing that during summer. And then we have my midi skirt here, which I kept out for special occasions, but it's just too cold now. There's no way I would ever reach for that. So I'm gonna save that for the summer season. I also actually tend to just keep these two pairs of shoes out all through the year. Um, and I guess you could say that, yeah, they are part of like an, an all year basic wardrobe. They're really timeless and you can wear them through multiple seasons, but winter, not so much like, these look cute with a sock, um, but I never wear them like that. 
Uh, maybe, you know, it's because I don't have any cute socks to really wear them with. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's also because in recent times I've actually become more into like a chunkier version of a loafer. So I'm currently considering like maybe I want to sell these and then look for a chunkier pair. Um, I just feel like they go nicer with like heavyweight denim and just generally have a more casual vibe about them whereas these are quite classic and sleek and although that is part of my style persona it's such such a small part and I feel like these are kind of tipping me a little bit out of the you know over the edge so currently considering what to do with these and then I have my beloved Isabel Marang boots which I love dearly I've had these for almost four years now um, but they're just too delicate to wear throughout winter, so that's why I've not been reaching for them. I'm gonna store them away, and then I will be happy to see them again when spring comes around. So I think what I'm definitely learning today is that I'm being a lot more realistic about what I can actually wear, and what I need to just, you know, of course say goodbye to, but also just like store away so it's not in my way and in my sight every single day so that I can just focus on what I can actually wear. This is pretty much what I wear frequently. So I have all of my knitwear here, heavier jumpers and then lighter sweaters that I've just kept on hangers because they're so light that I think it's okay. Uh, we have a sweatshirt here as well. I love sweatshirts, super practical, especially around toddlers because they're not as delicate as knitwear. You just throw them in with the rest of your everyday wear um, into the washing machine. I have a couple of shirts, so especially on milder days or just like under a chunky cardigan or even under like my wool blazer here. That's definitely something I want to try to do more. And then t-shirts. I have a v-neck linen t-shirt here, just the basic white, a blue one. I would like to add a pale pink t-shirt actually too to my collection just because I think it looks nice um, on its own but also under a beige blazer gray blazer pretty much anything just for a pop of color black trousers i have one pair of crop jeans out still um these are the only pair that i tend to wear now or that i have been wearing a lot i think they look really nice with black ankle boots full length jeans here gray a skinny jean also full length then we have these uh baggier way high jeans from everlane in dark blue also full length we have a lighter like over shirt here, which frankly I haven't worn it that much over the winter season because it is a bit too cold. But on the milder days with a chunky jumper, it's still really nice, very cool jacket. Wool coat, love it. Puffer, love it, wear it all the time. Bags, uh, I think I forgot to bring in my black little crossbody bag, but obviously that should be here too. Most worn shoes down here, Veya trainers, which I do need to buy myself a pair of new ones uh, this year. Uh, they've started to come apart so much inside here that the plastic in the sole here is actually scuffing me. So I do need to replace these. I've had them for some years, so it's about time. Uh, put my chunky sweaters down here. I have my eight angle boots here with the slightly higher heel. My sexy boots, as I call them. <laughs> And then I have my Acne Jensen, which has a lower heel. They are a little bit more manageable for every day. Um, but I think we're starting to see, you know, a pattern. <laughs> like, I'm not surprised because I know my style pretty well. Uh, but this is where I would then start analyzing what you have on this favorites rail. You know, the colors. I love dustier, more muted colors. I love my neutrals, but I do also love the occasional pop of color. Uh, light blue, you have that rosy brown jumper down there, I have my purple shirt, you know, comfortable, casual, like even for the materials, you know, jersey, Oxford shirts rather than really like stiff and stuffy kind of shirts. In terms of aesthetics, you know, most of these items are what I categorize as casual, that's definitely what takes up most space here. Um, we have a few classic pieces, again, like the shirts and the blazers to add an element of sharpness. Um, so definitely casual, classic. Another word to my style persona is edgy. Um, and it might not be that clear here. Like maybe you can see a little bit, you know, from like the washed down, almost like an acid wash material here, the 
over shirt I think that's quite like grungy and edgy to the boots uh, just being in this like grainy material and then the fact that you know I also have my biker jacket down there I have those leather pants the leopard shirt I would say that's quite like edgy too in some form and ultimately knowing this is going to help you create more balanced outfits make sure that you don't buy things like for me it wouldn't make sense to buy like overly romantic items because it just doesn't fit like what I actually love wearing it doesn't fit my style persona so you can also use it to be more mindful when you're shopping and curating your wardrobe in general current situation I have all of my love but never wear pieces over here and then I've put all of my wardrobe favorites back into my wardrobe it's looking so nice and calming now like it looks just like yeah <laughs> I mean even for someone like me again who's been working so intensely with my style for the past like five or seven years I feel like you know, I can always learn something. I'm just human as well. And yeah, it just like this just makes me so happy. It's so calming. I know I love all of these pieces. Um, I'm actually seeing now that this sweater has a little bit of a stain there. So I'm going to take that down and put it in the wash in a second. But the thing is now or the exercise is now that you're going to take your love but never wear pieces and try to style them up with pieces you are more familiar with and that you feel more safe wearing. Um, it will help you to make that piece a more integrated part of your wardrobe, which is great. Or it's a way to say goodbye to something. So a really, really great exercise that I definitely wouldn't recommend skipping. For example, I've taken the leather pants, which I had on the Love But Never Wear rail, and I've then styled them with something I know that I do love wearing. So again, that's how you can use those keywords, the style analysis to help you create balanced outfits, whatever that means to you. You can kind of use that as a checklist to check in with yourself. Okay, well, do I have something casual? Yes, I do. Do I have something edgy? Yes, I do. I have a third word, which is classic. So when I put this, this together, I might feel like that is missing. Maybe I can bring that back with a nice bag or a nice classic coat. I could also change up the sneakers to a more pair, you know, a more classic pair of boots. That would also be a way to add a bit of like class to the look if I felt like that element was missing. I'm not saying you have to integrate all of your keywords every time but again it's a nice checklist and a nice way to kind of check in with yourself so i would take a photo of that on my phone i would make a folder called outfit ideas then boom you'd have that picture as a reference in that folder um, and then you can try them on afterwards after creating those little flat lays or like flat outfits you can try them on see how you feel save the you know take another little selfie of yourself and whatever feels great you know you can keep that photo for later reference but yes that is it i'm going to wrap up this video i just want to show you like one last peek inside of the wardrobe before wrapping up um, I've arranged everything first by category and then by color this time around. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that it gave you a better idea of when to part with something, how to part with something, how to make something work if it's not working for you but you'd really like to. There are many things to consider in a decluttering process like this and like I mentioned in my previous video, it's not the act of decluttering but the opportunity to learn that's the important thing here yeah if you do decide to do a declutter i'm rooting on you you've got this i really hope that this video or this little series is going to help you develop your personal style further if you still need a little bit of help i'm happy to help you i have worldwide 
uh, virtual services on my website all the way from color analysis to style analysis so here to help and I'm happy to do it make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it make sure to subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here for more slow fashion content and I hope to see you very soon with another video bye guys Thank you.